Our Pope Francis says, do not be ashamed to pray and cry out to the Lord. Fratelli e sorelle, essere in attesa. Questa è la preghiera. At his weekly talk in the Vatican, the Holy Father says prayer is the beam of light in the darkest moments of our lives. But don't forget to pray in the happy moments, too. God will always answer, and we must learn how to wait patiently for the Lord. Joining us now with more is EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn. Colin, always good to see you. So tell us, what was the Holy Father's main point today? Tracy, good evening. Pope Francis said that prayer is so powerful that even death trembles when a Christian prays. Now, today, the Pope continued his talks on prayer, which he began in May, and he dedicated his public address today to the prayer of petition, which the Catechism recognizes as one of the principal forms of prayer, alongside blessing, adoration, intercession, thanksgiving, and praise. Now, Pope Francis today spoke from the Apostolic Palace via video link due to the coronavirus restrictions, and he cited the example of prayer that Jesus thought to his disciples, like, for example, the Our Father. Colin, let's talk a little bit more about the Our Father. What did he say? Well, Tracy, Pope Francis said that when we pray the Our Father, we ask God for the highest gifts, the sanctification of his name among men, the advent of his lordship, the realization of his will for the good in relation to the world. And he said, we also pray in the Our Father for the simplest gifts, for the everyday gifts, such as our daily bread, which could also mean health, home, work, everyday things. But of course, we know as Christians, it also means our everyday bread, the Eucharist, which we know is necessary for life in Christ. I want to switch gears just a little bit. I understand Pope Francis is giving a Christmas gift to Vatican employees, but it's a little different this year. That's right, Tracy. Pope Francis is not giving the traditional Christmas gift to his staff this year, but something I suppose you could say a bit more practical. The Pope's Christmas present this year is over-the-counter flu medicine. Now, the Holy Father typically gives a bottle of sparkling wine and the traditional Italian holiday cake, panettone. Now, Italian media says that Pope Francis is giving Vicks daytime and nighttime medicine to the nearly 4,000 employees. Now, how these 4,000 employees feel about getting the medicine instead of the sparkling wine and the beautiful cake, well, that we're not sure of. Well, certainly a sign of the times, that is for sure. How is the coronavirus continuing to impact the Vatican? Well, all museums have been closed since November the 3rd, and they'll stay closed until at least January the 15th to curb the spread of COVID. Now, the Vatican has had at least 13 people with COVID-19, but most of them were coming from the springtime. Eleven members, you might remember, of the Swiss Guard contracted the virus in October. But at the moment, the Vatican Press Office has not said if there are any current active cases of COVID-19 within Vatican City. Tracy? Okay. Thank you so much, Colin. Thank you for that report. Colin Flynn, EWTN News Rome correspondent. Thank you, Tracy.